gorgeous! Sabrina here. Welcome back to the 1990s. Today I'm showing you a historically accurate makeup tutorial, even though this really wasn't that long ago, <laughs> based on the beauty trends that were popular in the 90s. Now there was no one way to do your makeup in the 1990s, but there were some very well-defined beauty trends of this time, including a very fresh matte complexion, pencil-thin brows, dark lips, and a light flush of color on the cheeks. Throughout the video, I will also be including some small little pop-ups that will come up at the bottom of your screen with some fun facts and trivia from the decade. The 90s was all about a matte complexion, so to help achieve that, I'm applying a face primer first. This is the one from Hourglass. It's their Mineral Veil Primer. I'm also applying an eyeshadow that matches my skin tone. This is Max Blanc Type, and that's going to help with blending in this look. Eyeshadow in the 90s was very minimalistic and always neutral in tone. I'm taking Chanel's Mirage Cream Eyeshadow and applying this all over the lids with the MAC 242 brush. Eyeshadow came in a variety of different colors in the 90s. Most popular was the neutral look with golden, shimmery tones. If you were a teenager in the 90s, the popular colors to wear were periwinkle, purple, or light pink. And if you're looking for a cheaper version that you could use in place of the Chanel color I'm using here, you could also go with something like Maybelline's Bad to Bronze. Once I have enough of that eyeshadow applied, I'm going back with my same blending shade I used in the beginning and blending along the edges to soften the look. Now, unlike today, eyeliner was applied in the 90s so that it was rather imprecise and it wasn't applied so that it would stand out. It was more of a way to add dimension to the eyes, but you didn't want it to be extremely detectable. And so that's what I'm doing here is after I've applied Teddy on the upper lash line, I'm going back and smudging it into the lash line so it becomes more of a way to define the eyes but you can't really see it. I'm also applying a small amount of the same pencil on the lower lashes but I am doing it in a dotted pattern and then going back with the same brush I've been using and using that to smudge those dots together and this creates more of that minimalistic smudged look. Eyebrows were incredibly thin in the 90s. In fact, they were overplucked by today's standards. So that's the type of shape that I'm creating here. To do this, I'm drawing a simple line through the middle of my eyebrows, so I'm not filling them in completely. And thankfully, I have naturally thin brows already, so it's a little bit easier to replicate this trend. And then I'm curling the lashes and applying a waterproof mascara, even though you can't see it because the camera thought something else was more interesting behind me. I am also applying false eyelashes because let's face it, my lashes need help. In my defense, Kevin Aquan was very popular in the 90s and he did use false eyelashes in a lot of his looks, but they were very natural looking. So that's what I'm doing here. This is a pair from Inky Minky that will be released next month and they are called White Lie. And to create that fresh, clean complexion of the 90s, I'm applying some color correctors here to counterbalance some of the unwanted tones I have in my skin. So I'm using yellow to disguise my purple under eye circles and green to get rid of some of the redness on my face. Then I'm applying a concealer from MAC and I'm also applying the foundation, which is from Chanel. And blending all of these products into the face with a damp beauty blending sponge. Using a beauty blender to blend all of your products onto the face will help to also contribute to that clean, minimalistic, fresh airbrushed look. Using the same damp beauty blender, I'm also taking some translucent powder and packing that onto the skin. Don't be afraid to pack the powder onto the face, especially for a 90s type of look because the skin was very mattified. Blush was very minimalistic in the 90s and it was a huge contrast to the over rouged look of the 80s. So I'm using a really light pink here. This is Max Tenderling and applying a light dusting of this onto the apples of the cheeks. In the 90s, lipstick was dark. We all remember the brown lipstick trend, but some of these trends also leaned more towards wineish brown or a deep wine burgundy color. And what would a 90s video be without a little bit of a flashback thrown in here? I swear we were all wearing the same exact color in this picture. And of course I had to dye my hair blonde in the 90s. Not a good look for me. Anyway, some lipstick options you could try to get that brown lip look of the 90s are Rimmel's number 14, Max Twig is another great choice, Maybelline's Touch of Spice, or Revlon's Rum Raisin, and this one was made famous by Cindy Crawford in the 90s. Another great Revlon color to try would be Toast of New York. But ultimately, I went with Rum Raisin.
Number one nail polish in the 90s was Chanel's Vamp, and according to what Chanel has said, this has continued to be one of their top sellers ever since. This color was seen on so many celebrities in the 90s, including Madonna in her Take a Bow music video, and it was also used on Uma Thurman in Pulp Fiction. Another popular color in the 90s was Sky by Hard Candy, and this hit notoriety when David Letterman asked Alicia Silverstone what color nail polish she was wearing, and once she said it, it put Hard Candy on the map. There were a variety of hairstyles, including tightly knotted buns, most often seen on celebrities like Gwen Stefani. Crimped hair was also very popular in a variety of different styles. Cornrows, twists, and spiky porcupine updos were also very popular with little decorative clips added in. Speaking of clips, who can forget the butterfly ones? I had tons of these, and in fact, they hurt like Hades when you would step on one of them. And of course, we can't forget the Rachel cut, which was the most coveted cut of the 90s. Let me know what your favorite 90s trend is and where you would like the time machine to travel to next. We haven't done a Twiggy look yet. I think a Twiggy look may be in order. Let me know what you think. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more historically accurate videos in the future. And if you would like to see more videos like this, I will have the playlist linked for you below also. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.